everyone. This is the second milestone for the project I'm working on, which is a gesture control robot. Basically what I've done for this milestone is that I finished the glow and this tiny blue part over there, that's the accelerometer, and underneath it is the ESP. I just use a lot of tape to mount it onto a power bank. Uh, this is a power bank. And then I used some rubber bands to connect the power bank to the, to not really connect it, but like strap it onto the glove. And when I put the glove on, the elastic expands, so it's pretty tight. Basically what it does is that the accelerometer reads a value and since and sends it to the ESP on the glove obviously and then the ESP will send that value to the one on the robot and based on that value it'll move forward backward left or right and the hard part was probably coding and the code the code part and it was really hard to send for some reason when I tried to send the accelerometer values it wouldn't work and I had to constantly rewrite the code and try different kinds of ways and I found a code online for sending a humidity sensor values, and I just modified the code to send accelerometer values, obviously. And, and that's about all, and I'll just show a demo video now. I just wanted to show a quick preview of my code. Uh, so here is just the other ESP's MAC address, or the receiver ESP. And over here is the packet that I built, or that's, this is the part that's, this is the uh, variables and stuff that are going to be sent. And, um, by the way, I'm just showing the important parts, not like every single piece of code. And over here is just the accelerometer. And it's, in that part, that code is just, uh, it's just calculating the pitch and the roll. And also the total vector. And if we move down here, this is just printing the uh, data. And over here, this is actually sending the data because it says my data. And up above, I we made a I made a message or struct message uh, that named my data and the my data B, my data C. That's that's like the stuff that's being sent. Over here, this is the receiver code, and it has the same uh, message structure. And over here, this is just defining the motor pins. And if we move down here, uh, this is just putting the output for the motor pins, setting the output for the motor pins. Over here, this is just printing out the data. And uh, this is where it's receiving the code. And basically, uh or it's registering the received code and basically what happened what i noticed is that when i tilted the accelerometer forward the roll would be positive and if i tilted it backward the roll would be a negative value and this happened same with the pitch if i moved it to if i moved it to the left the pitch would be negative and if i moved it to the right it would be a positive value and i just used that logic and basically what I did is that I said if the roll or my data C is bigger than is greater than 30 it would move forward and the reason why I did 30 instead of 0 is that because is because um the roll will be constantly shifting around and jittering like that and that wouldn't be ideal so 30 would be so that so when I tilt my arm uh, hand forward uh, if, if, if it goes greater than 30, then it'll move forward. And then same with the rest of them. If it's negative 27, less than negative 27, it'll move backwards. If it's greater than 26, it'll move to the right. And if it's less, and if uh, pitch is less than negative 26, it'll move to the left. And then over here, I just put an else. And if it's any other, and Basically what I've done here by putting these values is that I created a box, not like a, yeah, so just like a box, and any of the values that are inside of that box and not outside, 
they won't do anything. They'll just make the motor stop. And yeah, so that's basically uh, my code preview. And now we'll move on to the demo video. The demo of my uh, car moving. Basically, if as you can see, if I uh, tilt my hand forward, the robot will move too. So like this, I tilt it, and if I tilt it back, that? and I tilt it back like that, and if I turn it, the robot will turn too. If I turn it this way, sometimes it gets a little traction on the floor, so the wheels don't move too well. Also, if I would, also if I made a few modifications to the code and did some more testing out, I think I could get it so it's easier to tilt your hand back and forward. And turning two, I still need to figure out the problem with the wheel. See, as you can see, like the traction stops it from moving. If I were to pick it up, all the motors move. So that's a problem with the floor but the code and everything is working pretty well so i'm pretty happy with this and uh hopefully i can finish the arm modification oh. so yeah bye